For decades, seabirds, and lots of them, occupied almost every inch of prime nesting territory at the South Island of the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. But a nearly $4 billion expansion project at the HRBT necessitated efforts to coax the colonies from the island. That's where Rebecca Gibson, Zoe, Nike, and 18 other of Gibson's trained border collies come into the picture. They're part of the flyaway geese family on assignment to work from sunup to sundown seven days a week until September to keep the seabirds from nesting while work is underway on the expansion project. Basically, the border collie works because when a border collie moves stock, they put their heads down and their tails in between their legs and they stalk things. So in the mind of the bird, the dog is a predator, but border collies don't have a kill instinct. Um, they're herding dogs. So in their mind, they're working them just like they would sheep or cattle. The dog's mere presence discourages the birds from landing on poles, pavement, rooftops, riprap, or anywhere they might try to settle for the season. The dogs, outfitted with protective paw wear and goggles, deter birds from landing and laying eggs here. Deterred, yes, but it appears the seabirds didn't have to fly far to find a new seasonal stopping ground. In March, Virginia Secretary of Transportation Shannon Valentine, who oversees VDOT and its expansion project, traveled to the HRBT to observe the dogs at work and to also I new nesting grounds for the birds at nearby historic Fort Wool, which is closed to the public. Secretary Valentine says through collaboration and cooperation between VDOT and the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries, DGIF, a plan to protect the birds took flight. Fort Wool was prepped to receive thousands of the feathery flocks. Valentine says, I am grateful to Secretary of Natural Resources Matt Strickler and his team. We came together to help the migratory birds nest safely as we deliver the largest transportation project in Virginia's history. And to ensure ample nesting habitat, DGIF is also anchoring sand-covered barges between the fort and South Island as additional space for the birds. Gibson says, it's working. It'll be a better environment for them and a better nesting habitat for them because it will be managed. The use of herding dogs is the first phase of an approved bird management plan put in place by Hampton Roads Connector Partners, the project's contractor. HRCP hired Gibson's Stanfield, North Carolina company to work during the nesting season. Since arriving, Gibson has hired and trained 10 dog handlers to assist her and husband, Josh. Six of the 10 are wildlife biologists. We started here, there were probably 3,000 birds on the ground when we got here in February. And um, maybe we see two to three try to land on a daily basis. It's very minimal. We're seeing very minimal numbers of birds. They've moved over to the Fort Wool area. We can see them from here. Stephanie Boyles Griffin, a senior scientist with the Humane Society of the United States, says the use of herding dogs that are specially trained to flush birds without making contact is a humane and effective approach that will help keep the birds from nesting on the South Island. Boyles Griffin says, combined with long-term monitoring and responses to nesting attempts, this approach should help the seabirds make the transition to use of the alternate habitat that Fort Wool provides. Other passive bird control measures are also in place on the South Island, but so far, man's best friend appears to be key to keeping birds away from the work zone. Meanwhile, a 24-hour around-the-clock bird monitoring program will be maintained throughout the life of the construction project, which is due to end in late 2025. I think this management plan is going to be 100 percent effective. I'm Paula Miller for the Virginia Department of Transportation.